Everybody, and welcome to how to craft a mob spawner dungeon type theme bob. Um, mob trap, I guess you could say. Um, if you guys stick around, I will give out the seed that I'm in because this seed is extremely awesome because it has not one, but two. But wait, there's more. There's two spawners here. One's a skeleton, and the other one's, I think, a zombie. Yep. Um, so, and I will be telling you, we're teaching you guys how to make a mob dungeon. Now, there's, there will be a, a good bit of fast forwarding, um, but, well, it won't be that much. But you'll, you'll get to see everything. So, the first thing I suggest doing is when you were working with mob spawners, it's turning out peaceful. Because you don't want to get attacked by mobs while building your mob spawner. Um, this can be done either in creative or regular. I'm going to do it in creative with my Kiroshimo mod install. <laughs> it's just so much more fun. I'm going to accidentally break the spawner with that. <laughs> it has literally taken me half an hour to get to this point. Yeah. yeah I know. Depressing, right? Man. This is really cool. I like this seed. Hold on. What? Okay, well. So, the first thing you want to do is just, just, you know, um, get torches around it so the spawner has space. And what you want to do is find a center point. Um, this is really only applicable when you have two spawners. You don't really need to do it when you have one. So, in this case, this little beam right here that Minecraft created is our center point. So, you want to Dig. I like to dig three down um, because it just makes it smoother and easier. So um, let's do that. And then what you want to do after that is you want to go out. Well, destroy the chest. Oh, there's books in there. Cool. Well, the books I want. Fortune. Fortune. Protection. Not that bad. What about this one? Um, so, what you want to do is go out four this way. So, destroy this cobblestone wall, basically. After you, if you don't have, if you only have one dungeon, um, this along a wall, eight blocks away from where you're gonna place your water, because you're gonna be placing water. So, eight blocks away from a wall, let's say. Um, just dig a trench three deep. You don't have to find a middle. Um, that's something that a lot of people don't explain. Now, you want to make the room bigger so there's more spawning area for the monsters to spawn. This is essentially what I'm doing right now. Uh, so, I like to go out four this way. Five, this way is going to be my wall. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm just going to fast forward me. Um, fast forward myself. Digging. Oh, let me also tell you how many you want to dig out this way. Um, you want to dig eight from the trench because that's how much water flows. So one, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you, you can dig out this wall, I guess. It doesn't. It, the dimensions really don't matter all that much. So let me get terraforming here, and I'll fast forward this point. Okay, so what you want to do now is also on this side dig out eight. Or, or count out eight, one, two. Okay, so we're taking this wall out two. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I still love that. Okay, so here's our complete room. Now, what you would like to do, or what you should do, is dig down one block so the spawners are floating. It just makes the spawning a whole lot easier. Um, um, yeah, you can go down two if you want. This really isn't. This is all up to you. Um, so, honestly, we don't need this light, honestly, because we're in peaceful. That's the good thing about switching to peaceful. If you're playing on like some kind of ruled mode where it's like, well, you can't change to peaceful, like a vex map or something, um, just keep torches around in a, tr in a thing like that. Um, but for this video's purposes, except for bringing light, those torches are not necessary. So, I am actually getting a new microphone, guys, so expect higher quality videos from me. Um, I'm going to order it probably tonight. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, no, I always forget. Probably tonight, so it should be here in a couple of videos. Because I am using turtle, turtle beaches. Turtle beaches. Um... But they actually produce a whole lot of static. I, you know, they're high quality um, headphones, and they're pretty expensive for a microphone. Um, but they didn't. They just they produce so much static. It drives me insane. Um, I tried to record a parody, um, and I just couldn't record it because of the static. It just couldn't turn out well. So I think I'm getting. A, I, oh, I'm still not a hundred percent sure. A microphone I'm getting at the time of this recording. Um, I, by the time this is up, I'm pretty sure I already ordered one. But actually, do leave in the comments um, what's a good microphone for recording YouTube. If any of you guys know, you know, there might be some YouTube. I'm sorry about the lag. <sighs> I was experiencing this when breaking blocks earlier. It's like, why, what, why, why me? But why? So. Actually, real quick, I am going to destroy another layer of this floor just for completion's sake, I guess. Um, I'll fast forward it though, I won't talk over it like I did last time. Okay, now one thing I did mention earlier was that the reason I made the room three this way, or four this way, and five this way. Which now doesn't make oh nine blocks because water flows nine blocks. Now what I want to do now is break this down one more. Um, if you leave, you can leave it like that. It just doesn't look as nice. And in my mind, it's I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't work. It doesn't click in my mind. Okay, so just cut right here. I'm sorry about all the cuts, but I guess I'll cut the cuts out. Okay, so now what you want to do is choose a direction you want these mobs to go. The direction doesn't really matter, you'll just you'll just be, you know, different. So, now you want to take a bucket of water. And let it flow. Now it'll stop somewhere around here with this design. So just dig down one more layer. And don't screw that up. Okay, now Sorry, I got smart moving installed, and that is the word. I'm never installing this mob again. Um, so now. Oh my goodness, it's dark. Okay, so now what you want to. What you want to do is destroy this block and this block. And I just want to climb upwards and dig up. Um, all the way up. Just dig up. Okay. Hop back down, and let's go back. Fly out of it. Smart moving. Smart moving freaking screws me over. Why can't I try? Uh, I remember. Yeah, I could charge my jumps in survival. Okay, so do that. Um, and then what you want to do is actually place a half slab of any choice. Right there. So the mobs, they do that. And now, you want to put down buckets of water along this wall. And this is why some people keep. You can keep the wall going up. 
you know, like from, well, let me show you. Like from here up, you can keep that wall. I don't know, I just, I just prefer not to. Oop, and the water stops right there. Puts it along this wall. And then you got a thing that looks kind of like this. Now you can do, well, let me just keep doing what I do, what I was doing. And so, do this and you dig up. Now, what you want to do it sounds like it's raining. So now actually, whoops, instead, what you want to do, like I, like I was thinking before, but I didn't actually do it, is you create a little room. If you want, of course. You don't have to create a room, but you have to create a mob landing zone. So, I'm going to create like a little observatory with like this giant window. You know, like in that, like in giant factories, you know, they have like that giant window overseeing the whole entire work zone. Oh, you guys are so lucky you got music because it's extremely boring for me. I'm going to fast forward some of it because digging the building is. Do I have World Hand installed? I don't think so. Oh, bollocks. One thing I didn't mention um, is that you want to put your landing zone nine blocks away from your spawner, or the spawner won't work. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, go ten, just for good measure. Now, don't put it right there. You want to put the landing zone um, on the same block <laughs> as the trench because it's going to be going that, like, getting pushed down, and you just don't want to turn up there. You'll see what I'm talking about later. I just measured it out from the closest spawner, so it's you know easier to see where ten blocks is. So. I'm going to go back to clearing out this room. Okay, so, room complete. Now, this is where you want your drop-off to be, your mob drop-off, so dig up. Okay, and then <laughs> drop back down, because this is nine blocks away from the spawner. I can also get rid of these now. That's some ultra glass placing failage. earlier. Now, what a lot of people do is they end up, like, what I like to do is make my tubes glass. Um, other people, they don't really do that. Um, like you'll see later on, um, I will, when I'm making this tube right here, um, I'll make it out of glass, not any other material. So, anyway. Um, okay. So, what you want to do now, before you do what I was just talking about, is go up 22 blocks here. My favorite number, 22. One. And we're in a tree. And now you just want to make like a little bridge first. 
up to where you made that other hole, the zombie come up hole. Um, and then you want to make basically a tube, a too high tube. Um, so, when making a tube, you guys do not need to place corner pieces. You can if it bothers um, it bothers some people. And it, it does look nicer, I guess. I don't know, I just never really do it. So you do something like that. Well, I should have broken that, actually. Well, now that I saw it this way, it is so better. So now what you want to do is make a too high little thing or bob. I do this so inefficiently. And then go back. I like to use glass because it just looks nice. Actually, this is gonna have to be altered. Don't do this. <laughs> My big. Uh, so now what you want to do is break the glass on your way down, and that you have it measured up there how you want it done. What you do? So let me get my water. Well, that. And then you also want signs. Signs. You know, I gotta find damn signs. And it's torch. Whoa, it's so bright. Oh, because I have it exposed to the light. What you want to do is alternate between sign and water. Is it? That is enough, okay. That's why I wasn't making sense. Holy crap, I just messed up all of those signs. The water isn't supposed to be there, it's supposed to be essentially where the signs are now. Signs have to be where water is now. I was wondering why this wasn't lining up, that's why I was like, well, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so now, after that stupid, oh, you also want to put a sign right here. After that stupid mistake, basically just the whole... Please don't tell me smart moving, screwing this up for me. It works, trust me. Smart moving just being really stupid. I can't uninstall it because I have like this little mod pack installed and it just ugh, just annoys me, that's what. So actually what I did was you want to go up one instead of what I just did and because it will stoop down I might no I don't think I'll be too high because all in all at the end you want your thing to be at 22 blocks so if I, we continued doing what I was doing there earlier I would have been below 22 blocks and you could just dig down the exit one but I just didn't. Whoops. I didn't. Well, I guess I might do that if it doesn't work out now because I'm not redoing this. But it's optional what I'm doing right now. Um, not optional. The, like the whole entire redoing what I just did type idea thing. Um, I am making no sense right now. But basically, you want to go either two or one higher than you did originally or dig down one or two it, it is actually two you want to dig down two um, from where you are standing ok 
Okay, now. Right here. The double placing. Man, that's frustrating. does it so much sometimes and then other times just like oh well I'll cut your break. Now you want to put a sign there so that water doesn't get through because after I place that the water will disappear. It will disappear trust me. I don't know why I did it. Minecraft was just fucking out there. Okay now what you want to do is enclose this because during the daytime mobs tend to burn. <laughs> so you want to make a too high little area for them like I kind of did earlier but now I have like a bottom rail so it's much easier oh um, you can use either step down here or just keep digging the way you were or building the way you were it depends on how much materials you have I'm just gonna do it for neatness sake like a giant square box because it looks nicer mm. okay This video is taking me an hour and a half. No, not really. This video is taking me 35 minutes so far. I wonder what it's going to get cut down to. Probably like 18 or 20. At least that's what I'm aiming for. Okay, now the tunnel is sealed off. Oh my goodness. Guys, um, let me just tell you this. Don't ever install the uh, smart moving mod so in theory you're done if I didn't have this mod installed um, what I don't know why I'm on the floor why am I in the floor why is this mod so stupid okay it does work I guess this is basically what a zombie does a zombie it basically holds down shift like a player in Minecraft holds down shift um, and so it will just keep floating and he'll get floated up into this elevator and also pushes forward. Um, so, go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's smart moving, it's messing with everything right now, so. And then it falls. And so, basically, at this point, you're done. Uh, you can check if they don't die within one hit. You can lower this down one more. And give yourself a step down, because we I think we lowered the design a little bit up there. So, it, right now, you're done. Uh, what you want to do is just go through here, and if smart moving doesn't destroy the spawners, I can show you what everything does. Um, you, you do want to keep the light in this viewing room pretty low too. I guess don't add too many windows, uh, so you give the things a chance to spawn. Um, so let's turn it back to normal. I'm assuming that's what people plan. And you just stand here. You can even break one of these open and watch them off spawn. Now, to prevent them from spawning, actually, let me show you guys this. To prevent them from spawning on top of the spawners, uh, you just take a half slab and plop it on top of the spawner, and mobs don't spawn on half slabs, so you won't have a problem. I don't understand why. This torch isn't here anymore. But it's not. And so after they make their little journey. And they are going up, right? They will start falling down here. And, yep. There. Oh, why are they burning? They are burning because there is glass. Probably. That explains a lot. Where's my thing? Why, why, why are they burning? Okay, watch this. Okay. <laughs> Design revision. I'm going to put a note in the video because I'll edit this right afterwards. Um, this top bit, don't put, make, don't make it glass. 
That was stupid smart moving. I'm gonna make a big deal out of this mod. It's all this mod. Why? Why was I just floating? And double placement. That's my computer's fault. Not scrolling. Another big computer problem. Okay. In here? Nope. There is the way. Hopefully never have to go through that again. Yeah, so finally. I all I need is a splash potion of healing. Um you can do this one of two ways. You can hit him with your hand, or you can just get a splash potion of instant health. And then after a while. Now I'm gonna sit here for um I'll time it at ten minutes. Except you guys might wanna cover that up. I did that pretty skillfully. Um cover that up so skeletons don't aggro on you and clog the whole thing up. So I'm gonna stay here for ten minutes. Um now if a lot of mobs are dying, what you could do is give yourself back that splash potion. Go into creative and actually lift it up one. Well, this is one case where I would say put the floor back, actually, because you're going to get shot. If you're, st if you're standing right here, you won't get shot, but if you're standing right here, you might get shot. Um, does that reset my XP? Of course not. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Exp no! I don't know how long it takes XP to despawn. Anyway, so 10 minutes from now, I will be back and I'll show you how much stuff you spawned in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and my computer is eating memory. I don't know why. I've never had this problem before. So, there's so many monsters in this one confined area that I am lagging. <laughs> So, let's get the splash. That's not nice. Splash potion of healing. And plop it on him. Now, let's see the experience we get. Oh no, I can't say. This is 10 minutes of sitting around doing nothing. I can assure you that. I watched a, a video by Attacking Two Cans. I watched his uh, Wind Waker. <laughs> Just waiting for the XP and level 30, no problem. Just well, 31. Wow, 32, and there's still more coming. Just plop another one down, and another one. Just matter everyone. It's 32. I'm guessing nine minutes, and you could have. Um, then you also get loot like iron ingots, heads, bows. Oh, the, like the, ouch, just got shot in the head. Oh, so let me just show you. Um, stop shooting me! Two hits. Ooh. Power. Painful, but powerful. I just want to show you guys more about the whole entire looking at each other thing. I don't know what I'm saying, but I got an error that stuck in the back of my head, so you see why I'm not making any sense? So one, two, two hits at most with a, a thing. You can make it one, but sometimes the mobs die randomly if you do that. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching. I've been Lay Super Slacker 22. This has been how to make a mob spawner. The most efficient design ever made, created. Because really, 10 minutes and you have got 30 levels to go make yourself some nice stuff. Now, if you don't want monsters, also, <laughs> sorry, I always get distracted, and I can't do that because I is not in creative. 
Um, well, can't be mobs in the way. Oh, potato. Is you can actually place a half slab here. So they actually won't be able to shoot you at all. See, I only got shot. I got shot a couple times there. So let's uh, see. Now, I'm in creative. They see me. You let me hit him just to get his attention in case he was glitched out. Like, he can't hit me. He's just not physically capable to hit me. Um, which actually, in this case, hold on. Wow, that's not gonna work. I wonder. Is there, how does that register? book if I do something like that Is that register in death no nope. registers in my OCD bothering me floating arrows are creeping me out too just saying okay so this is I guess the most efficient design sorry improving my design as <laughs> sitting here talking about it. So this is the best design for a mob dungeon. Let me kill a skeleton with his own here. Um, ten minutes, he got level 30. What was it, one? I'm assuming nine minutes, he got level 30. So really quick, really easy. You can get skeleton heads and everything. You can stand here with a bow and pick them off. You can hit it with your hands, but that uses your food. The best way is a splash potion of healing um, or poison, whichever ones you got access to, really. But the funnest one is this one so far. I air the bow. Um, but yeah, I've got hours of editing ahead of me. So thank you all for watching. If this video has helped you out, um, If this game, if this game mode, if this uh, video has helped you out, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Check out my other content. If you think this video is low quality, trust me, the quality is slowly getting better. I'm slowly getting that YouTube money to help improve my um, system performance. Um, I don't, it's, I don't get, I don't keep any of the money for myself. It all goes into stuff for you guys. So if you guys want to donate, that also goes like for better equipment, like a microphone, better computer, because my computer lags, stuff like that. Um, that's where all your money goes. I don't touch it, really. I just transfer it from the bank account, the YouTube bank account, to the store. Um, if they want it, so I can buy stuff. Like on Amazon, I use my bank account for YouTube. If, if I'm buying like a microphone, it is my personal one if I'm buying personal things like a camera or an SD card which I guess they still die but if if a lot of mobs are dying for you guys just use a <laughs> anyway guys thank you for watching there's a donate link below and just I hope everything goes well for you guys. Bye! Share this video with your friends, too. I'd greatly appreciate that. Shut my door. So, yeah. Bye. If you have any questions also in the comments... I'm sorry, I'm bad with goodbyes. If you have any questions in the comments about how to make one of these, or what, what if you were confused about how to do something, please respond, and I'll, I respond to every single comment and everything. So, you know. Just saying. It's apparently not just birthday. Um, thank you. Thank you again, guys. Um, have a great night. Have a great day. And please, I'll get better equipment soon for high, extremely high quality videos for you guys. Bye.